What are you guys laying over here for? We got a lot to do today. Let me get you guys all set up. All right, today we're gonna have a lot of fun because today we are going to be upgrading my home network. So I'm gonna be adding in a mesh Wi-Fi and I'm also going to be adding two new switches so that way I can get everything connected into the network. Now, while Wi-Fi is an easy solution to get Wi-Fi throughout the house with the mesh network, I also want to be plugging a lot of things in, especially the office desk that I have set up here. By the way, I just finished painting the office while well, you see there is the plate not on my switch yet, but hey, I'm still finishing it up. Nice gray with white, I really like it. And now that I'm getting things finalized here in the office, I need to deal with the network solution. So there are a lot of things that need to be plugged in. Having a lot of smart home devices like the Amazon Smart Things hub, we've got Philips Hue hubs, Arlo hubs, Eufy hubs. There are just so many of them. I've got them split between the network closet in my master bedroom closet, and we've got a bunch of stuff here in this closet. That's just a little sneak preview. I'll show you guys later what is actually in that closet. But we're gonna have a lot of fun in today's video, not only upgrading the network, but cleaning up a lot of the things because I'm OCD and I'm sick of looking at the rat's nest of cables inside of the network closet. So let's get started. So I am really fortunate to have a network box here in my closet here. This thing was installed with the house when we purchased it five years ago. And you can see all these cables sticking out. And the reason for it is because this is my router. So this is the Linksys router that I bought back when we were in our condo. And while it was great for the condo, I mean, it was way overkill for the condo, it can get pretty hot. So I didn't want to stick it just down here on the carpet. And it's kind of too big to fit into here, which is why you see all the cables running up into the back of here. And the problem with the back of it too, as you can see, is that there are only eight ports back here. And I need a lot more than those eight ports. We've got the NAS that I've got set up. So this thing I've actually had for, I think it's about nine years now and it's still going strong. It's got two two terabyte drives in here that are mirrored. And I'll tell you two terabytes is definitely not enough. This thing I'm actually looking to upgrade soon because I want to do some videos on not only saving pictures to something like this, but also connecting Eufy cameras to it so I can just store my footage locally to this thing right here. But if we want to take a look at what this nasty thing looks like, this is what it is. So the nice thing is that when we purchased the house, they ran all the cables for us. We've got one to two cables per bedroom. Then we have all of our coax cables here. So we've got all of our coax cables. They labeled everything for us, which was awesome. We've got all of these cables running through. I've got my AT&T router right here. And then we've got our telephone patch panel right here, which obviously we know we don't have telephone. We do have power down in there too. And then we also have power out here. What I wanna do since I have all of these cables right here is I picked up a 16 port switch. So we'll be plugging in a switch here, make it look nice and pretty. And then what I wanna do since 16 ports is not gonna be enough and I don't wanna be trying to stick all of the hubs in here is that I'm gonna have a bunch of the hubs in the closet in my office. In addition to that, I've also been having some problems with the range on this Wi-Fi router right here. While it's nice and fast, it's not getting every point of my house. When I'm downstairs in certain corners or in the backyard, I am not getting a good Wi-Fi signal. So I wanna put in a Google Mesh Wi-Fi in the house. We're gonna be putting those around the house to boost the signal and the speed with Wi-Fi, in addition to also activating all of the ports that I have throughout the house. Okay, so I wanted to talk about the hardware in today's build out. We're gonna start with our Wi-Fi mesh router here. This is the Google version, looks like a giant marshmallow. If we take a look at the back here, we have got only two ports. So it's not like my other one that had eight ports on the back. This one's got one for the internet and then one that's going to extend out and you can either put that directly into a computer or for my sake, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually plug it into this 16 port switch down here. 
So that is gonna go into the network closet. There's another one that's gonna go downstairs, which is going to create my mesh network. We have got our 16 port gigabit switch. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our network cable out of the back of the wireless router here. It's gonna plug into the number one slot here. And then I just have to plug everything in. This is super simple, plug and play. Don't have to really do anything with it. It's not managed at all. This is just really easy to do. There's the number if you guys wanna check it out. Also, I'll leave links in the description below if you guys want to see what I picked up. But that's pretty much it. We're gonna plug this into the network cable, plug all of my network ports in. But since I want to set up some of the hubs in my office here, I am going to branch one of these to the office and it's gonna plug into this eight port here. So it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna plug it out of the wall in the office here. It's gonna plug into number one and then I'm gonna plug the rest of my ports into here. We're just gonna do a few of the hubs in the office. The rest are gonna be scattered throughout the house so everything's not centralized into one location. But just wanna give you guys an idea on the hardware that I am using. Now that we have seen what we're gonna be using, let's go ahead and get it set up. All right, so another thing worth mentioning, and the reason I'm kind of doing this upgrade right now is that I just upgraded my home internet. I went from 100 meg up and down to now having fiber to the house. So I've got a gig going up and down for my Wi-Fi network. So with all of that speed, I kind of wanted to upgrade the network itself too. So let's see here. This one's the feed. And I believe this is the one that we have set up for the internet. And then we'll plug in the blue one. And this one, this blue one here will go up to our new switch that we're gonna install. And, ah, great. I'll flip it this way. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. See everything's powering on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this configured and then we'll go ahead and start unplugging all the rest of these cables and getting that switch installed. All right, for the sake of dust, I wanna keep this thing up high and out of the way. So we are gonna keep the Synology NAS up here, but we only have the two cables running down. And then I've got my recorder for my Vivint home security system down here. But let's take a look at the final outcome. So we've got the cables all tied up. We've got the Velcro straps around them designating the two different colors up there. I was able to tuck all the wires up into the wall, which was nice. So I just pushed them all up through there. We've got the cable modem here, and then we've got the mesh Wi-Fi right here. So this mesh Wi-Fi also has two more points that are around the house. All right, let's go ahead and test my Wi-Fi speed here. Wow. All right, so we have 455 down. We have 494 up. That is just incredible for getting on my phone through Wi-Fi. Now, one cool thing that I wanted to show you about this gigabit switch right here is that you notice that there are lights flashing on the top. And that is going to mean that there's an active connection on the other side. So right here, nothing is turned on on the other side of these ports where these have something turned on on the other side. We see we've got these are all green, which means it has a gigabit connection. This one right here is orange, meaning it's only a hundred megabit connection. But that's okay because that device that is plugged in right there is just a printer, so it doesn't matter. That one, hundred megabits is fine. Where these are all gigabit connections, so you can tell from the flashing colors on this switch. 
All right, so here is the network port that is coming into my office. I only have one for this room, and obviously I want my computer to have the fastest connection possible, especially since I'm uploading YouTube videos at 4K. So what I did is that we picked up this TP-Link 8-port switch. So it's just like the 16-port, it's just the 8-port version of it. I'm gonna be putting this in the office because like I mentioned, we've got things like the Philips Hue hub and the SmartThings hub. So all these things need to get plugged in. Now I'm gonna have everything going into the closet and because I did take over this bedroom that was a bedroom, this is gonna look a little weird, but I do have the two nightstands that were on either side of the bed in here. We got it stacked up in here just temporarily, but this has kind of been like the charging station and where I get kind of everything plugged in and charged. And you see, I've got a battery charging up right now. I got an extra lamp, so we stuck it up in there, but then we've got all of these boxes. Got a lot of camera boxes up there, but this is kind of where I want to put the hub, stick it up here, maybe stack up all of the hubs that I have, you know, smart things and everything else. Uh, but let's go ahead and get everything set up here and finish up this project. All right, now you can see that we have this switch installed. We've got this hub and this hub installed. I've also got another hub that's gonna be installed for these flick buttons right here. So I'm actually need to open this up and take a look at that. But that is everything that's installed. Also the blue cable right here, that is running over to the PC. So I have it running down here. Just have a giant cable that's running across the entire office right here and then plugging right into the back of the PC right there. But that is pretty much it. We have got everything installed that I need to, but let's see how fast I can get it on the computer. Okay, so about 870 up, that is really good. I'm paying for a thousand up and a thousand down, but 870 is not bad at all. And as far as the upload, all right, we've got nine, over 900 for upload. That is just incredible. Way more than I actually need, but it's nice to have, I guess. Well, I hope you guys had fun in today's video. If so, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.